I got him! Oh, oh, dude! I don't know where the boat is though. <laughs> Alright, today we're going out to look for Bowie the lobster. It's one of the rarest lobsters in the world. Half blue, half orange, half male, half female. The blue side is a male, the orange side is a female. It's the craziest lobster one in a lifetime. We're in the area that we let Bowie the lobster go. We have the underwater drone. We're gonna go down and look around. We have some traps. We're gonna set in the area with bait. And to be honest, it's it's a bit of a long shot. It could be anywhere by now. The main objective of today is to just get another lobster that we can put in the tank to keep the tank healthy so it's ready at all times if we catch something cool. We had a lot of fun with Bowie the lobster in the tank. I love making content like that. It'll be fun through the winter. And part of keeping the tank ready is to keep life in it and keep it active. The weather offshore is pretty poor. In here, the water's really cold. The lobsters aren't very active. They're not moving. Catching one keeper is gonna be a challenge, especially with a short set. We're just setting these right now. We're gonna go play around with the underwater drone. Hopefully we can catch at least one keeper to bring back to the tank. Uh, and then we're gonna set two traps for green crabs. So hopefully we can catch some green crabs as well. Let's go look around. So we got my buddy Adam here helping us today. He claims that he's also a lobster fisherman, but I'm not sure about that yet. He's gonna set two traps himself, bait him how he wants, set him where he wants. I'm gonna set two traps myself, bait him how I want, and set him where I want. And we're gonna see who the real lobster fisherman is. Leave in, the, leave in the comments who you think is going to catch the keeper for today. So this is our first trap we're setting. We're setting it for green crabs. We're putting a couple fresh pogies on it. And we're going to set it right in close to shore, right in the rocks, in some seaweed. We've actually got a GoPro in the trap so we can watch the action. Maybe a lobster will climb in. Who knows? We're going to see what we get. Adam, with his first trap drop of the day, Never done this approaching before. the green my first day. What are you trying to suck up your first day on the job? <laughs> What's going in there? I'm going straight here in for the wind. Don't mind me. I'm just... For the short set, I, I do. Gotta, I'm jealous of Adam's you bait. Gotta, you gotta get those. The short set, you want the bait as easily accessible as possible, and mine isn't very easily accessible. I'm trying to leave the tails hanging out, but I gave Adam the better bait because I know that he needs every advantage he can get in this competition. Really gotta, you know, doctor up a little bit. Get down there. That'll fish right there. Sounds like you're making a hamburger <laughs> patty. I am. It's like a Krabby Patty, but for the lobster. I hear talk you make a mean Krabby Patty. Yep. I just blew the vents out of Adam's traps. <laughs> he just made mine have no way to trap lobsters. <laughs> So real quick before we get into the rest of the video, people often ask what we take for lunch on the boat and what we eat. And it's actually pretty tricky to be honest with you, given we don't have any stores or restaurants nearby. We have to eat what we bring and we're also super busy on the boat. So what we bring oftentimes doesn't even get eaten anyway. AG1 has been a great solution for me. Uh, they're also the sponsor of today's video. So thank you AG1 for sponsoring the video. AG1 is a daily nutrition drink. It comes in a powder. If you're like us with a busy schedule, all we do is bring a cup of water and then bring the packet on the boat. It comes in this little pack, or it comes in a big bag. I keep a big bag and the packets on the boat. Mix it up, shake it up, drink it, you're good to go for the day. The biggest benefits that I've seen to it are a boost in energy, and it doesn't leave you with the crash. So energy drinks, obviously, give me a boost, but I get the crash from them. You kinda have to keep drinking them, and you also have in the back of your mind, should I really be drinking these? These are a drink that I enjoy, and I also have the peace of mind of knowing that they're good for my body and giving my body what it needs. It's full of vitamins and also supports your immune system. So thanks again AG1 for not only sponsoring the video, but for this awesome product. I will leave a link in the description. You guys can head on over and get your AG1 there. Let's get back to the video. So I can push it so you don't mess me up. Oh, okay. You want your other one up there? Yeah. Get, oh, I don't want you touching my trash. <laughs> here we go. I smell them right here. This is the spot. I don't want my rope all up. Sabotage. Close. There goes mine right there. The winning pair. Just like jerk chicken. Just gotta. Gotta make it tender. Let me see what you got up here. You got a little structure or something? Did you just run me out in the flat bottom? Yeah, we're right out in the flat mud right now. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna try it. You gonna try the flat mud? Yeah, I'm gonna try the flat mud. Okay. You know? Let's run the boat. Well, you're <laughs> up in there. Okay, right, we do have two traps. Yeah, you got two traps there. I'm gonna try the flat mud. This, this recipe right here will fish anywhere. 
doesn't matter. <laughs> Hannaford's, it works best, right next to the lobster tank. <laughs> Am I good to go? All right, we got the crab trap set. We got the four lobster traps set. My lobster traps, I can feel them in my heart right now, are filling right full. I don't know about Adam's. We're gonna go down and take a peek around now with the underwater drone. We're gonna see if we can find some cool stuff. This is the Five Fish Evo. You can see up here on the TV, we can see what this thing sees in real time. It's also got a claw. We can open and close. Let's go see what we can find. What is that? What's that? There's a horseshoe crab right there. That's a, oh my word. Oh, see if you can grab it. That would be so cool with <laughs> the aquarium. See if you can pick him up. I wonder if you're allowed to keep horseshoe crabs. Oh, you could pick No, that's up. not a horseshoe crab. That's a hermit crab. Hermit crab. What are you talking about, dude? I don't know. Okay, so I was wrong. You got some turbulence. Oh, oh, I almost got him. This is like trying to play that claw game at Walmart. She's like, what is going on She's right like, now? This is crazy. She's like, my friends are not going to believe me. <laughs> like, this. <laughs> You this, is being, from above. this is what being abducted by aliens yeah. would look like. <laughs> crab, yeah. You would be so cool in the tank, though. Why do I think horseshoe? Isn't that the thing with the tail? No, yeah. horseshoe crabs are like gnarly. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you went along with it. <laughs> we are all wrong. You know, like in Zelda, you get like the end and there's like the boss? <laughs> That's where we're at right now. Fight! He would be so cool in the yeah. tank. He'd be just as cool as a lobster. He's cooler than a lobster. He's got his own home. He's like got an RV. I got him! Oh, <laughs> wow, dude! I knew that was gonna happen. Dude, I can't believe it. He's just like, I'm out. They move really well. Oh. Oh, I just geez. cover him with a shell. He's like, like, he's like new happen? level, now he's throwing stuff at me. <laughs> 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 this is out of control. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, I thought this was gonna be a relaxing Sunday morning. I got him. I got him. I got him. No. I got him. I don't know where the boat is though. I got him. I got him. No way. Victory! He's tiny, he's in a periwinkle shell. Look at that little guy. Wow. We're definitely gonna need a name for this guy. He's gotta have like a battle warrior name, like something legendary. He put up a wicked fight before he went down. <laughs> <laughs> oh They're my lord. Those are all lobster holes. Right? Yeah, no, look down in there. That's a big one. Look at the size of his crescent claw. Holy. I wonder if we dropped a fish in front of the hole and he'd come out. Fish. I'm thinking we're gonna put a fish in the claw and drop it in front of the hole and see if the lobster will actually come out. Another her there's another hermit crab. Oh, look at him. Can you go two for two and catch him a friend? Mm. You got him! Is he in there? No, no. He is? He's right there. He is in there. I got it. He is in there. What? He is in there. No, I way. got it. We're going to come up with our second hermit crab and we're going to no, go he back. Is. He's right yeah. there. And we're going to go back down with a fish. We got two little hermit crabs. The aquarium's filling up. All right, we just found some holes on bottom in the mud where the lobsters actually burrow down and hide in the wintertime. They're pretty dormant. We can't get them to come out. All we can see is their claws. We're going to bring this fish down drop it in front of their hole and see if he'll actually come out and eat it. Oh, but we got one finally. This one, I think, has a lobster in it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, yeah. all right. I don't know if he's awake or not, but we're gonna try to drop this in the entrance of his hole. Is this like DoorDash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, come get it. That's pretty good service. Yeah, that's dude. It's phenomenal, actually. You better wake up for that. Your fish is bigger than his hole. And we want a tip. Oh, he's coming out. Is he's he? He's coming out. He's coming out. Look, he's he is coming it. out. He's, he's coming out. 
Oh, it's a call. He's, not, he's, he's missing got, his pincher claw. Look, he's getting oh, it. He's getting it's it. working. He's taking it in. It's working. Get closer. Like, is that a thank you or? He's gonna pull it right in his hole. Wow. Look, he's got he's he muckled right he's on so it. He's so excited. Look at him. He's like, thank you. <laughs> wow. You know, I'll forgive you for being late. He is missing his pincher claw. Yeah. It's cool. Look, he's pulling it right in his hole. Yeah. Now he's getting mad. He thinks I'm going to take it. He's dragging it right in his hole. Low battery. We're dying. I don't even know if we're going to get it back out now. All right. This concludes our DoorDash deliveries for the, the one clawed lobster pogey deliveries. We have got 14% battery. We got two hermit crabs. It was pretty successful. I'm going to bring them back and put them in the tank. We got to go haul our traps. Hopefully have some lobsters. All right. We're pulling up to Adam's first. We're going to haul his first and take our time. We'll give mine a couple extra minutes set. I wasn't very confident in his set on the mud until I saw the drone footage of those lobsters buried in the mud. Pretty cool. This is an extremely short set for this time of year. The chances of catching anything is very slim. Hopefully we got at least one to put in the tank to hold the tank until we catch something cool. Oh, you got some little crabs. Yeah, you got more than I thought you would. That counts. It's like it's like a half a point. Go off the catch. There he is. My little one claw right here. <laughs> All right, Adam. I don't know if I'm serious with you or not. I really want to keep him, but I really don't want you to be the one to catch. Him. Ah! Oh, no. Struck out. Green crabs. Bunch of green crabs. So usually this time of year, we let the trap sit for days. The fishing becomes pretty slow because the water's cold, so we don't catch a lot. The traps have to sit for upwards of a week to actually make it worth hauling them. The catch is gonna be pretty poor, but the goal is to only catch one keeper. I see some color in there. We'll get the crabs. We got a green crab. We're gonna feed this to a lobster if we can catch one. All right, here we go. Show Adam how it's done. Oh, you blew my vent out! I just blew the vents out of Adam's traps. Jeez, man. This must be your first time. I was done. Is this, is this the first day on the job or something? I think you are. This is, this is an escape vent. It's supposed to be held in with biodegradable hog rings. It goes right here. So in the event of traps lost, this opens up and lets everything out. It didn't have any hog rings in it. Adam pushed it over. I can push it so you don't mess me up. Oh, okay. You want your load up there? Yeah. I don't want you touching my traps. I have no idea what you're talking about. So one of my traps wasn't even fishing. We got the hermit crabs. We got some green crabs. Let's go check these last two traps and then go put them in the tank. At this point, we're hoping maybe we got lucky and accidentally caught a lobster in these ones. Fish in there. A fish? Stab right through your eye. Oh yeah. We got some green crabs. We got a bunch of green crabs. We're gonna have a green crab fight. We're gonna fill the tank full of green crabs. We got a bunch. Well, unfortunately, we did not get a lobster to put in the tank, but we have some pretty cool creatures that I didn't expect to catch. We got two little horseshoe crabs, right? Horseshoe crabs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Horseshoe. Crabs. Okay. They're hermit crabs, some fisherman he is, but we've also got some green crabs. So we're gonna go put two green crabs and two hermit crabs in the tank, uh, and we'll have to save the lobster for another day. But this hermit crab is a battle warrior. He put up a fight, we almost didn't get him, so I think he deserves a battle warrior name. This one is a little weaker. So maybe this is like the big Hercules, and this one, I don't know. Drop some suggestions in the comments, let me know. All right, here goes the little hermit crabs. <laughs> here goes the green crab. These are going to be lobster food once we get a lobster in here. But for now, they're going to keep the tank alive. 